Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 4 of Netju no Susume, or Netoju, or MMO Recovery Junkie, whatever you want to call it. So, with this episode, <laughs> I think he's finally figured it out. At least he's figured it out, but she hasn't figured it out. So, with this episode, we have a lot of um, loot uh, bags going around in the in game world, and uh, Mordico also has some conversations with two people in the real world, which was really interesting, and I'm I'm telling you, green haired guy behind the counter at the convenience store is, I want to say it's the green haired guy in their party, not the, uh, the bit, uh, fat one, but the other one, and I'm just like, because it can't be the fat one because that one's married, or at least maybe that's a lie, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, I think it's the guy that's like their leader or whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, she has a conversation with the guy like at the store and, and they're talking about the, like, the online game and the online money and stuff and it's just a nice little conversation she has and I'm just like, oh boy. But, um, <laughs> also we get to see the identity of one of their party members. Um, uh, Lilac, I think her name is. She's the one with, like, the fox ears or whatever. And, uh, yeah, she's just this girl. Um, I don't know if she's a high schooler or if she's in college. You know, I don't know. We don't know much about her, but we've seen her. So, and I think she has a thing for Hayashi. So, yeah, girl, look, your heart's gonna get broken real fast because that's a girl behind the screen. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, there's this whole thing about, you know, them getting loot bags and stuff and getting new outfits and new items and stuff, and it's nice. It's like, okay, that happened. And also, uh, she may also have a now have a thing for the green-haired dude in their party. I don't know. I'm just like, okay, so they're gonna build a relationship of some sort over there? Eh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, but with Hayashi and Lily, they, well, <laughs> boy, in real life, um, also, before I get into what happens in real life, not in the game, but, um, in real life, um, <laughs> uh, um, um, uh, blonde-haired dude's name escapes me, but, um, yeah, his friend, uh, that used to know Mori, um, he is voiced by, uh, he's the voice actor for, uh, Arsene Lupin and Code Realize. I realized that that last episode, and I was like, oh, it's the same voice actor. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, it ends up where, um, blonde haired dude's friend, I forgot his name, he also meets up with Mori at the convenience store, and he realizes it's her, and he's like, oh my gosh, you know, give me your contact info, and, you know, let's go out drinking together sometime, and yeah, da, 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 and so basically he goes to his blonde haired friend, and is like, hey, I got her contact info, and we're going on a date, and he's like, what? <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, so that happened. Um, <laughs> and then in game with Lily and Hayashi, well, uh, Hayashi comes to Lily and is like, hey, I kind of need to talk to you about something. And uh, what he, she talks about is exactly what just went down. And that's when Lily slash whatever the blonde haired dude, I always forget his name. And then later it comes to me. But um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he, uh, I think he may have figured out that at least Hayashi could possibly be Mordico. Um, because <laughs> the end of the episodes have any indication of that possibly being a thing that he's figured it out. Um, but I don't know, maybe he hasn't, you know, but I'm kind of hoping he has. Because that would be kind of a interesting thing where he goes up to Mordico and is like, Are you Hayashi? <laughs> and she'd be like, ah. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that will happen next episode. Maybe it won't, because it looks like next episode's the whole date thing, I guess guess. I don't know exactly what's going to transpire in the next episode, but we'll have to see. But this one overall was pretty good. Um, <laughs> oh man, though, but, um, hey boy, if he's figured it out, I'm just like, please, please just get this over with. Just get the reveal out of the way so we can start a nice relationship in the real world, um, between Mordico and blonde hair dude. I, Gosh, his name always escapes me every time, but um, I'm just going to call him Lily. <laughs> but anyway, what would you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!